Having trouble connecting your Netgear router to the internet? Don't worry, we're here to help you get to the bottom of it. First, you'll want to do a quick inspection of the lights. While Netgear routers may vary in size and shape, your Netgear router should have several blinking lights that indicate the power, whether the router is connected to the internet, if the various wireless bands are operational, and the status of the Ethernet ports. The internet LED is the most important here, which looks like a half ring wrapped around a sphere. If the router is connected to the internet, this light should be solid green or white depending on your Netgear router. The Wi-Fi LED looks like a dot surrounded by two parentheses on each side. This light should be solid white or blinking. If anything looks off, it's time to power cycle the router. Turn off the router and then unplug it. After a few seconds, plug the router back in and wait for it to power up again. This can take a while, usually 2-3 to three minutes. Keep an eye on the lights and reference the steps from earlier in the video. In the meantime, check the connection of the router's internet port. If you're using a modem, repeat the previous steps for your modem and power up the modem before the router. If issues persist, ensure that the internet is not down in your area. You can call your ISP or check their website to see the status of the internet in your area. If the internet is down, the only thing you can do is wait. However, if the internet is not down and you still can't connect to your router, it may be time to reset your router by pushing and holding the reset button, which is usually recessed. A SIM eject tool or paperclip is useful for this step. If this has fixed your Netgear router issues, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Broadband Now for more router troubleshooting tips and more.